Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Keyless Productions and I've been thinking, so I've been thinking on where to take this channel really because there's, so couple past couple days I've been thinking there's so many cool stuff I could bring to the channel, right? And right now you guys know I've been focused on American Truck Simulator and all that. So right now this video is going to be two videos basically. Real quick, I'm going to let you guys know a few, let you guys a little bit, basically, let you guys know what's up with the channel, what's going to be happening in the future, um, and things, and also bring a new game to the channel. So, Crucial content is still going to happen. Full of Horizon 7 content, still going to happen. Um, but those two games are still happening. GTA 5 content will happen, will still happen, but it's going to, but I'm not going to post as many videos, right? It's not going to be a lot of videos I'm going to post on it, right? It'll be like once a month, like I'll get one GTA 5 video, one to two GTA 5 videos a month, right? So like, not a lot. Um, but when it comes to Roblox stuff, um, I'm still going to continue hardcore pressing the Kaiju universe. This game, I'm also going to be adding some, um, Liberty County, um, and I'm also going to be adding some other stuff. So, um, that's cool. Um, but today's video, we're going to be playing creatures, a game called Creatures of Scenario. You have been saying over and over and over, I'm going to bring to the channel. I'm going to bring to the channel. I'm finally getting around, not just getting around, I'm, been, I'm finally I'm actually get, think I'm good enough to do it now because I've, I've recorded more than 10, more than 10 to 15 videos of this. And I've scrapped all of them because I, I didn't feel like they were good enough for you guys. So. Is taken down. That's why. That's why the creation of video has been taking so dang long, and why you got two, not one, but two Kaiju Universe videos before this video even came out. That's why. But that is here. We're we're here. We're here. We are here. So, um, if you got the new to this game, basically this is an animal survival game co collector slash game thing. It's, it's cool, right? So. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some cool skins I made for creatures in the game. I'm not gonna go again. This is gonna be a brief overview of the game. I know I'm gonna play a little bit. If you guys want a, a thorough, detailed, explained beginner guide for creatures of scenario, I will do that for you. You guys have to say the word, and I'll do it. So you guys, if you guys want to see that, ask for it. And if you guys ask for it, you shall receive it. So we're gonna start with the hydros, the hydros, Hy hydros, hydros, right? So these are all the carnivores that creatures that want, not all of them. Okay, this is just a carnivore section, and we're gonna go to the hydros, hygos. I like to call it hydros, or hygos, but here it is. This is the hygos. It's a carnivore tier five. So we have 800, um, 800 damage, um, five thousand health. Um, it only different only, and it actually has toxin. So it has toxin and serrated teeth, which is um, like whoa. Um, great bleed defense, three bleed. It this thing's awesome. Um, but the downside of this creature is its stamina is trash. It's very slow, but it's it's tanky as crap, and it can it, it will it, if you see this thing coming, don't just, unless you're like you 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 like you're a Kenny or something, freaking run. <laughs> don't even try, just run. Unless you're a creature like a Jolt or something, don't challenge it. Run. Um, so we're gonna check out the skin. So real quick, I want to give a shout out to two subscribers of the of my channel, or um right, so, um and people who commented on as well. And that is Race Games Replace and ASMR re Repel. Repel. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, but big shout out to Race Game Replay. I want to give a first shout out to you. Thank you so much, man, for supporting my channel. Um, again, I will leave a link to his videos. In fact, um, if it's okay with you, Race Game Replays, I could think about even the react doing a reaction to some of your videos because I love your like I love your videos and you're really good at racing games, a lot better than me. So. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much. Next shout out is ASMR Repel. Thank you so much for commenting on my, on my video, ASMR Repel. Um, your videos are amazing. Guys, go subscribe to ASMR Repel as well. Tell him that Killish Production sent you um, because he he makes great videos for helping you to fall asleep, which is relaxing. I use his videos to fall asleep, help me fall asleep, and just to help me relax too. So please go ahead and give him a subscribe. Subscribe to him, please. And uh, without further ado, we're gonna show you the skins. So these are skins I made as special shout outs to the two people I just shouted out. So here we are. So here we have, I made a two repel skins, one race can replay skin for this guy. I made another race can replay skin for our Demonima. So you'll, you'll see. So here we have the race game replay. Here we have, let's go down in order. 
So I'm gonna go slow here. So you have the Ace from Repel skin. Again, all the colors I use for this skin are all colors based off the channel logo of Ace from Repel. So all the colors I use are solely based off only the colors on his on the logo of the channel. No like random colors, right? So this is basically all the colors you see are based off of his channel logo. Race skin replays again. All the colors I use for this skin are based on his specific colors for his channel logo. So we have the black, the blue, some grays in there. And you, oh, look, I did such a great job. We have another Ace on Repel vid, um, skin. I did add some non colors that really weren't in, in his logo that much, but I wanted to make it a little bit different. Right? I, I like this more. All right. Um, another skin I made is a, if we go to Sky. Alright. So I made skins for this. So I made a race game replay skin. So here's my second race game replay skin I made for you, buddy. Um, this is a skin I made. Um, I love it. I think it's one of my best skins I've ever made. Um, I also made some other skins for this as well. Um, the green copper head or green snapper. Sorry, green snapper. Right? I might, I might do a green cropper head, but this is the green snapper, I'm sorry. Green snapper skin. All right, this is basically a forest skin. Um, this this version, um, this species would live, um, this species will live, like, you know, in the, deep in the forest and away from, you know what I mean? Um, with this skin, I wanted to balance a lot of, like, um, um, like, really balance the lights and darks, have them contrast very well. Um, cause you can see, um, if you hear the wings really contrast very well with the light and dark greens, right? And the legs look, I look great. Um, we have, one of my favorites, we have the, um, Dragon Flare. I don't know why it's green like that. Okay, here it is. So, I'm sorry, here, here's, okay, it, it was being weird. Okay, here it is. This is the Dragon Flare. Um, really great. Um, I really love this skin. Um, it's just the Dragon Flare skin, really. It's really cool, really cool skin, right? I also made some skins for, uh, yeah, yeah, All right. I also want to show you guys something else, All right? So, oh yeah, Sakurum. So, go to Sky. Let me show you guys some other skins I made in this game. Um, one of them is called the Sakurum, the Sakurum skin. So here are the skins I have. I have the um, um, King Green. This is the King Green skin I made for the Sakurum. Then we have the leather, the leather back. One of my favorite skins. Then we have the sea, the sea uh, sail. This is basically the, basically the sea sail version. You know, it's, it was spent most of the time near the water. You know, I hope you guys like these skins as much as I do. All right. All right. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys some cool stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys something called a glimmer. If you guys don't know glimmer, a glimmer is a creature that has glowing body parts. Um, um, that that that, that sounded kind of sus. Don't take it. Don't 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 get your mind out the gutter, guys. I know what you guys are thinking when I said that. Don't don't. You know what I mean? But um, basically, a glimmer is a chance-based thing. There is no. You're not guaranteed to get it every time. Basically, it's a random chance that you pray to God and hope for to happen, right? So you basically get a creature, right? And when you hit like 100% adulthood for your creature, you have a, a, a percent chance to get a Glimmer creature. It is very difficult. I'm more than you guys. It is not easy to get a Glimmer. I've got Glimmers multiple times, but trust me, it is not easy. It takes lots of time, lots of patience, so it's not easy. So keep that in mind. It's not. It's now Here is a Glimmer. As you can see, oh. I just, oh snap, oh snap, run, run, run. He could kill me in one, he could one shot me. Nope, 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 nope. So here's a glimmer, you can see glowing body parts. Like I said, you have the glowing claws, the glowing horns. Look at that. Now this is a glimmer. Um, this is basically what a glimmer looks like. So you can see the glow, so the horns are like neon glowing. Um, The horns around, its, uh, the spikes around its face are glowing, the spikes on its spine and legs. Kind of Look, it's like glowing, glowing. like. Let's go over here to get a better view. Oopsies, I didn't even do that. All right.
So this is, a, this is a glimmer. Um, if you guys have a glimmer, my advice to you, be very careful. Do not start, because again, once you lose it, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Not, not I'm saying, being real with you. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to try to get the glimmer of the same creature again. Trust me, it's not fun. So, when you get a glimmer, hold it tight like it's your child. I'm going to menu just in case I get murked, because um, you need to be careful in this game. This is an animal survival game. Um, it's something called chorus, 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 or coising. Basically, this is when, all right, so, hold on. Okay. If you guys are, okay, hold on. Let me turn this, turn this down a little bit. If you guys are like, Nate, what is coercing? What is that? What is that? What's that term mean in in this game? It basically means um, a person in the game who kills for sport, right? You, let's for example, let's say, right, you're, you're, you're a carnivore. You're hungry. There's not a lot of food around. You see this small, a player. He's playing as a small creature. You go and you kill him and you start eating, right? Because you're a carnivore. You need to eat meat. Carnivores cannot eat plants in the game, right? You only eat meat, right? Right? A coercer is someone who, let's say you kill, you did that, right? And let's say there's plenty of meat around, you killed it, you got your meat, right? And let's say another player comes by, right? And let's say you, let's say the creature you killed actually, re, re, let, re, 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 let's reword that. Let's say the creature you killed is a big creature, right? And a big carcass, right? So you got plenty of food. There's another creature that comes along, right? Near you, right? You go out of your way to kill them. When you have plenty of food right in front of you, you kill them for no reason. You just go to kill them to, just to kill, right? That is poison. You basically kill for sport. You basically kill other players, take them out for no reason, right? In the game, there's a there's difference in the game. The difference in the game between killing for food, because you need to survive. Because again, your creature can die from de um, dehydration, um, starvation, or um, blood loss. All right, Th these are or drowning. All right, so you can die from your creature can die from these things. If you kill, kill another player for no reason, right? You, you have plenty of food, you're just killing the kill, 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 kill. Constantly killing, kill, 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 kill. Just killing everything, kill on sight. Just killing everything for no reason. That's coercing, all right? Coercing, coercers are very, very um, prominent in this game. Um, it happens all the time. So be careful because you, it, 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 when you play the game for the first time, it doesn't matter, it's not a matter of if it happens to you. It's a matter of when. Uh, you will be a victim. You will be a coercer victim. It's gonna happen to you. I don't care who you are. It's gonna happen to you eventually. It might take a while. It's gonna happen to you eventually. So it's, I, it's happened to me multiple times. All right. It's gonna happen. All right. Now let me also explain real quick on how you get new creatures. Um, basically you spin these gotchas and how you get new creatures. Now, new creatures. Now here comes the coercer part. You kind of have to be a coercer for this because in order to unlock this gotcha, you actually have to kill three players. You kind of have to kind of be a coercer in a way, which sucks, but hey, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a thing. Um, we also have the time gotchas. Um, it's basically you, you get these points you can use and you can trade them for creatures. I'm trying to get this guy right here. Um, I need 3,000 time points. I do not have that, John. I, I, I don't have that. Uh, so we're going to be a Ghibli. Now, some creatures have something called abilities. Now, you guys saw the Hydra's head ability. Did some creatures have more than one ability? More than one ability. For example, right? The creature I'm using in the Ghibli is a dev creature. So basically, you need to you need to pay Robux to get this creature, right? Once you pay Robux, you get it, and it's yours. Like, you don't have to spend any gotchas. You got it automatically, right? So, I'm bleeding out because my creature, when I was, when I was playing this creature, um, I was kind of attacked and nearly got killed. But I got to the, I clicked the menu button and I, and I escaped in time. But that's why my creature is bleeding, uh, bleeding out a little bit. But this creature has two abilities. This creature has poison breath and a, a sleep ability. Basically, it releases a um, cloud of smoke that causes other players to let the creatures to go to sleep. And then you are know, so pretty cool. So let, we gotta recover. All right. I think we should be good now. Hopefully we don't bleed anymore. We need water. Crap. Food. I don't smell. I don't. I don't smell anybody. Oh, look. So, so there you go. Some people got. Some players got murked, and uh, we got plenty. We got food. Free food. It's a nice little buffet just for us. Thank you. We appreciate the food. 
Mm. What was that? Whoa, whoa, what was that? I don't know what the, f I don't know what that was, but I'm not staying to find out. But they sound, they sound like one of those big creatures that can kill me. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I won't be as scared. Cause again, my creature does have poison breath. So I could escape pretty easily. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the poison breath real quick. That's what poison breath looks like, guys. That's what it looks like. There you go. Also, the, the um, Q ability, here's what it does. It basically puts you to sleep. Oh, snap. Snap. We gotta get out of here. We're just gonna fly as high as we can. He's stuck. He left us alone. There you go. We we escaped with our lives. <laughs> we see, we almost died just there. Again, we the only reason we we escaped from the Serengaro is because the Serengaro is extremely slow, and and, and fly, it's like one of the worst flyers in the game. Um, my Ghibli Ghibli is actually a pretty good flyer, and it's a lot faster. And has better stamina, so I can fly for a lot longer than he can. Um, and also poison breath, so I can hit him from afar. He also has a, a laser beam. Like King Ghidorah, you guys saw it, the gravity beams things. Um, luckily, I was able to dodge most of it. Um, I know they hit him with the poison breath, so he's probably poisoned. So, yeah, we're good. Um, I was going to try to fight that the, the Ares, but I'm not going to try to fight him. Because that Ares has to, like, when hit that, the Ares breath actually, bl like, blurs the screen for you. So it kind of blinds you, your creature. So it the screen becomes blurry and it's hard to see what's going on. And when they spam that breath and use it constantly, it, they can take they, they can use that and they could like a whole bunch of Aries using that, but like, like a whole pack of Aries using that breath can easily take down like something like a Kendial or even a Hygros, Hydros, Hygros, right? They could take down a seriously powerful tier five creature just from doing that. The Jolt with the water breath does the exact same thing. Now there is a Dragon Plushie in the game which you, don't, you can no longer get, but it like. Gives you allows it if you put it on your creature. It gives it it gives them ice breath. So my my glimmer my glimmer creature I showed you earlier in the video ha, I think has a dragon plushie. So it has ice breath. We're gonna go back again and we're gonna try to kill the we're gonna try to kill and eat that certain guard. We're gonna try to kill him. We're gonna take him out. We're gonna try. We got murked pretty easily, um, but that's it. I think that's it. That's all we're gonna do for this video. Simple, short, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I do have more coming your way, um, but for now, I'm gonna see how you guys like this, how you guys respond to this, and we'll go from there. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you guys could do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. I, I want to try to get this. I want to guy. I want to try to get to this channel to 100, 100 subscribers, and t by before twenty twenty, before the end of twenty twenty two. So you guys have a big subscriber goal here. So guys, I will do it with your help. So please, any of you watching this video, share this video out with your friends. Share it out. You know all that good stuff. Share it out. All right. Share this video out, all right? Um, leave a comment. Leave a comment video. Let me know what you think. Um, um, if you guys, if there's any creatures you want me to do that I have, or you want me to, you know, for example, if you guys want me to do the Magnarosis next, or the or the Lore, or the um, Phoenix, what do you call it? Um, or the um, uh, uh, or the um, Vinroar, or the Yiper, or the Ventramors. Oh, I saw that. Metamorans, um, you know, or if you guys want me to do the Santa, or the co the Courier Sir creature, cat the Cactus creature, or you guys want me to do some sea creatures, you know, if you guys want me to do like the the um, Semicratic Crate, um, Arianos, Amolus, uh, Ashio, um, sorry, Ashio, um, Icaron, we have the Lis um, Lisuus, Lisuus, um, the Larchu, the Lust or Darch. Um, the Lamaco, um, you know, Sahangaro, I have that creature, um, you know, the Shro, the Yura, um, and there's, there's, there's all these other creatures I don't have that I want, right? Because right now, if you guys want to know how to, by the way, you guys can get creatures called, something like this, it's called the Rotation Store, go through this and you can get cool creatures. Um, so yeah, um, Venroar, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed the video, peace. I'm out. I'm done with bullshit at this point.